from Langston Hughes, The Negro Speaks of Rivers, dedicated to the heroes of the Civil Rights Movement. It was my dedication. I've known rivers. I've known rivers ancient as the world and older than the flow of human blood and human veins. My soul has grown deep like the rivers. I bathed in the Euphrates when dawns were young. I built my hut near the Congo and it lulled me to sleep. I looked upon the Nile and raised the pyramids above it. I've heard the singing of the Mississippi. When Abe Lincoln went down to New Orleans and I've seen its muddy bosom turn all golden in the sunset. I've known rivers, ancient dusty rivers. My soul has grown deep like the rivers. Langston Hughes. Some of these images that I have produced um, are, you know, each one has a story, of course, um, just remembering, remembering where and how I came to these images. This woman is a woman that lives in South Carolina. The image here, uh, this, these are her hands, by the way, and this has happened, uh, I, she, it was an old pot in the yard, and it was an old rusty pot in her back, in the backyard, and, and I saw her hands, and, and her hand, hands have always fascinated me. And so seeing her hands and seeing this rusty pot, I said, whoa, veins that run through the blood, you know, you know as, the, as the line goes, older than the flow of human blood and human veins. My God, you know, to see her, the blood, you can actually f almost feel the blood running through her veins. Were so her, old, her age, her hands had stories. You could just tell, you know, countless stories just by looking at her hands. And so um, to see this pot that had also that character, that age and that weathering, what the combination, so I said, well, I've got to do that, and she said, can you hold this pot for me? You know, and she said, and I, you know, to turn it this way and turn it that way, and so taking several shots of that. Uh, this is my nephew here, and an old guy that um, I <laughs> was out on the street working on a building, and I, the guy that was supposed to be the grandfather in this situation didn't show up, and so I'm sitting here with my nephew, it's great light, getting ready to lose the light. And I'm like, whoa, I need to find an old guy. You know, so I run around the neighborhood like running, an old guy, you know, and I run over to him. He's got a hammer and whatever in his hand. He's like trying to knock down this, you know, this window out of this building. So, you know, excuse me, I, I got a, you know, kind of a proposition for you. Uh, you want to make a couple dollars? <laughs> Huh? I said, oh yeah, um, I'm doing this photo shoot and um, I need you to play a granddad. Granddad? Well, yeah, my nephew here, I need you to be his granddad. You need to fish on this pond across the street over here. <laughs> okay. And I convinced him and he came over and sat down. He was great. And he sat there and he played granddad. And he actually he didn't want to leave because he was having so much fun.